So Oliver, this is the Somerset jacket, which I'm really, really excited about. It's unisex, first unisex template piece. Tell me about all the fabrics. Right at the heart of it is our sustainability. Where's the fabrics coming? What fabrics are we going to use and everything like this? Really cool about this, insulation. So it's plastic ocean bottles recycled. We all watch the David Attenboroughs and things of the world, and that is absolutely key, and it's so cool to put it in an outdoor coat. It's always going to wear that, and it's a talking point in the pub or whatever, but it also is keeping you warm, dry, wind off you, rain off you, everything like that. Then you've kind of glammed it up with the quilting style of it, the diamonds inside, Poppers. obviously. I'm a bit biased, but the made in England uh, yes. bit inside. <laughs> We're so proud of something like this, and it's cool to work with you guys to put it together. And it is the ultimate of what we want to do, a completely recycled, sustainable coat made for the outdoors that has a full life cycle. So this, uh, the Somerset made here in Somerset, and you've got an apprenticeship program as well, haven't you? Yeah, so it, what's really important is the fashion industry is lacking here in, in, in England is the skill base. So Ruth is absolute proof of it. She's come from our apprenticeship. Um, she's one of the first ones that came through and now she's head of design. So she's actually been here and, and she's put this together with you and designed right from scratch. So for us, the whole circle of the sustainable fabrics comes with the people as well so Absolutely. you know you, don't, you can't be shipping off to the other end of the world when you could do it here in your backyard if you can educate people and they can learn how to make something from scratch yeah. then why go anywhere else well, there's always been such a stickler for you have to do one thing it seems just has to do so you know it's not that's not true you know you can say you can cut you can <laughs> pattern grade. why not why can't you be a hybrid there should be an absolute process understanding the entire process, not just the sourcing of the fabrics, understanding everything about it is so important. And Absolutely. I think that's the whole beauty of it. To give somebody that also that opportunity to be able to learn this, this is unusual to have this, this skill set here in the West Country and the thought that you could just do more and more and more. And you yeah. make for the military, you make for the police. Exactly. Now working with us. And what you do is very unique, and I think you should be super proud of it. We are it proud. Really and it's brilliant. And Ruth's going to teach many more people to come through, and that's yeah. going to be a whole process of getting people through and, and getting excited about yeah. something that the fashion industry gets a lot of flack for because of the mass production, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can make it sustainable and make a huge impact in a positive light. So we've done these three samples. This is the Jurassic and this is inspired by obviously the Jurassic coast and uh, lined in uh, full fleece. It's, it's beautiful. So making it out of this beautiful uh, more structured cotton and this is sustainable. How come this is sustainable? It's organic. So uh, it's actually from top 10% of the organics in the world. It's a canvas, a cotton canvas. So it's got that real durability, tough, lovely feel to it. Everything we do, everything fabrics, everything we think about when we're putting together with the Ruth and design, the lay plan, everything has to be sustainable uh, at the core of it. So that's the mesh in between and then that is then sealed onto. That's recycled plastic. These are made in Leicester, England and they're old school but they are reliable and we trust them and this one's been around since the company started. So inside is the waterproof um, drop liner. So it's 20,000 millimetre of waterproofing. So you can put it under 20,000 millimetre of pressure before water is then passed through. It's got 20,000 um, breathability as well to match it.